Well, hello there, chums, does I, Captain of the Steves. Now I'm in light, no sky. Yes, it's no man's sky, but we're playing it like light, no fire. Now, one of the mission objectives is to go and scan every single fauna on the actual planet. Now, so far, I have managed to scan seven of the 11, and the rest of the creatures for me to find are all underwater. So today I'm going to be going out and I'm going to be doing that very first step of this quest. Okay, righto, so I've got myself the wand, I've gone and picked that up from the old Nexus, because, yeah, Rice has got the wand, and I think Cynical's also going to be using the wand as well. All leaders are allowed the staffs or the wands. Now, I'm wondering, closer to when we go into a massive, great, big death match. Oh, God, there's somebody at the door. One second. I'm going to be giving my crew some very sort of in-depth tips on how you could get yourself quite a lovely multi-tool and perhaps be more useful inside of that showdown. But yeah, I'll put those tips out perhaps on the Discord or something, but spies are everywhere. We've got to be so careful, haven't we? Anyways, right, so I need to go and discover, okay, these creatures. So before I go out on a quest, I'm going to be going into um, general. No, I'm not. I'm going to be going into difficulty, changing it from normal to survival. Yes, full on survival mode. Heck yes, and then I'm going to be going into network and making sure my PvP is set to anyone. <laughs> oh my days! My heart rate just went up a little bit. View nearby players list. Now we've got a few people here already. Now the Spotted Badger has sent me a couple of invites to group already. Now, I would let him come with me. However, I think I'm going to do this bit alone. He sent me a few invites. I'm recording a video. That's why I didn't accept it, Spotted Badger. Um, but yeah, here we go. Let's head on out then, people. Um, this could be fun. Right, so hopefully there's not a storm raging or else... Okay, or else I'm going to start losing damage already, aren't I? Okay, well, what I need to do is I need to find myself an area of water, don't I? So let's get on my bird. Oh, he's feeling sad. Let's just let's give him a tr treat as well. I'll give him a pat. There you go. You're not so sad now, are you? Let's ride! Okay, now I don't really want to go towards other players' hubs. And really, what I want to do is try and find myself a lake. Now, we are setting off in a storm, which was freaking stupid, to be honest. There we are. We're flying over. And hopefully we're going to find a lake or something. I mean, there's a little mini pond there. I don't think we're going to find much in a blinking pond. So I'm just carry on going. I mean, normally, if you were in ships, you could sort of fly right up into the atmosphere, up where the air is clear, couldn't you? Now, if there wasn't a storm raging... Oh, hold on, hold on. I think I've spotted a massive swathe of ocean over this way. Heck yes. And we've got ourselves... Oh, yep, yeah, storm is clearing as well, which is great. Ah, maybe it wasn't a massive swathe of ocean. It's a trickle. It's a freaking trickle! Okay, people. Um, it, it's... It's hardly a lake. It's, it's it's a pond, if that. Okay. Fudge. Hopefully we're not flying towards any of the enemy bases and structures, because that would not be good. Uh, okay, well, um, I'd let you know if anything interesting happens, or if I come across something like a lake. Chums, I think I might have come across a plaque. Uh, I think it's just over this hill. If I'm right, I think I caught... Yes, I found a plaque! Which means that's going to take me to an ancient relic site without needing a freaking map. Awesome. Let's head on over here then. Let's go and hit that up. Not what I was looking for, but, you know, when you're not looking for something, you find it, don't you? Okay, so this is like um, point three on the quest objectives. So here we go. Let's go into here then. Lovely jubbly. And um, I want to seek knowledge of the past. Hopefully it's going to be on planet. Be on planet. Historical data revealed. Freaking lovely. Okay, so it's all the way over there. This is going to take me... Mile, look at that, 38 minutes. 38 minutes it's going to take me on foot. Okay, well, let's um, de-summon my bird, recall my bird, and uh, let's uh, let's ride into the night, my little budgie. Heck yes! Right, um... Oh dear. Where's it gone? Uh, Fly in the wrong direction. Come on, turn around. Turn around, turn around. These things don't turn too quickly. Why can't I see? There we go. 
Okay, right. Now, while I'm flying towards this, I am going to be keeping an eye out for a massive swathe of ocean. But you can see here, it's still going to take me 35 minutes or so to get there. So I'll see you when I come across something interesting. Okay, chums, well, I've arrived, Decated. Here we go, at the ancient relic site. Lovely jubbly. Okay, right here. Um, now I need to dig up some keys. So here we go, let's uh, go get the keys. Bum, 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 bum. And this is miles away from anything and anyone, so I don't think I have to... I can kind of relax a little bit now, I think. Unless pirates attack me, which happens quite frequently on this planet. When I was here in my legacy save, giving away a couple of pet eggs, which I do daily, okay? So if you are after a sort of, a, you know, a flying pet, a flying mount like I was just on, I'm giving away maybe four a day at random to people that I see online if I'm on my legacy save. I've got four eggs to give away today. I'll probably be logging in in a bit and uh, giving them away. But yeah, um... Yeah, so anyway, I was in my legacy save. And, you know, I'm in, I'm in normal mode on my legacy save. Rather than PvP. And I'm not going to attack anybody, obviously, in my um, my legacy save. But, yeah. It was... Yeah, a, a load of pirates attacked me. And they were setting me on freaking fire. If that was this save, I would have died in one, like, sorte, I reckon. Wouldn't have been good, anyway. Okay, right, there we go. Done that. Now where's the big chest? Gravitino ball. Not after the gravitino ball. There we are. Large artifact. Great. Let's go and get myself a lovely, lovely artifact. Lovely, lovely. And boom. Straight in. Chikapow. 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 I'm done. What have we got? Oh, it hasn't given me it yet. There you go. Got to interact with it. Okay. I got cloned rust leaf, which... I don't think is all that great. It's not a golden treasure. So that's not going to set me too high up in the rankings. Hopefully you guys get luckier. Now, I could try and find a Colossal Archive. If I could find a Colossal Archive, you can put this into a little machine at the Colossal Archive and it gives you the same or better. So you can trade up. So I might have to go to the actual hub, get a tel the teleporter up to the station and hopefully get myself maybe some maps to find a colossal archive to do exactly that people all right well there we go we've, we've dug that up which is lovely isn't it that's pretty darn cool now i could dig up the extra keys there is a chance that i might be able to turn them into the actual guild envoy up there depending on the guild envoy and what they're after sometimes they want these keys so yeah i get the extra keys anyway and if not, it just means I've got less digging to do next time. Anyway, I'm going to dig these keys up. I'm still looking for oceans. Even on my fly here, I didn't come across anything that could be classed as an ocean. Um, which sucks, to be fair. And so I'm going to go over here, dig that up. So I'm just going to dig up this last key, and then I'm going to continue my search for a swathe of water. So hopefully I can get all the underwater creatures scanned. And then that way I can claim a massive stash of nanites. And I can use those nanites to buy a load of chart maps. Now there's a couple of different chart maps I want to get for different reasons. Oh great, this, one, this one's balls, this one's underneath the ground. Oh look, I've managed to get it just. Alright, well let's just blow my way out of here. Coolio. And away we go people. So I'm going to continue my search for ocean. Alright, I'll see you in a bit. Oh, something just to um, point out, people. Your ship, although that we're saying don't use any technology or whatever, you can call your ship in if I had, you know, launch thruster fuel, and I could jump in it and out of it to use it as a portable camp. Because I can't really do that, I don't even think I've got a, I haven't got enough to actually even do that. I was going to try and make myself a nice little save point. So, yeah, I, I, I can just make a little makeshift camp, but I haven't got any of this stuff at the moment. Okay, uh, right, yeah, so let's just pop into here. Let's see if I can sort that out quickly. I don't think I've got any dehydrogen. I've only really got four of it. No. Uh, okay, fine. I'll just press on and we'll, we'll, look for, uh, we'll look for somewhere using my budgie. Here we go. Come on then, budgie. Now, I don't know which way I was blinking flying. All right, anyway, I'll look for an ocean, people. Okay, chums, it's not quite an ocean, but it's probably the biggest lake that I've come across so far. So I'm just going to take a dip in here and see if I can find some of the creatures. I mean, look, I can barely get under the water. Oh, my days. This is like a paddling pool for kids, isn't it? This is freaking rubbish. Okay, stay under the water. Let's see if we can find some creatures then. There we go. We found one. 
Boom, got that one. What's this one? Looks like a little crab creature or something. Yes, it is. And I think that's our lot, people. I don't think we're going to get anything else, just in this little swathe of water here. Heck no. No, we need to press on, but at least I've found two of the little critters. Heck yeah. Lovely jubbly. Cool, yeah. Okay, chums, well, I managed to build myself a little save point. I mean, I freaking had to, to be honest, because I get interrupted all the time. So let's go and hit this up and let's take that with me. So I've still got that. Right, let's call in my budgie. I guess. Come on, little budgie. Now, I think what I'm doing is heading east. Northeast. Yeah, the reason why I'm heading east, I don't know whether this planet actually gives a good representation. But you can see there, look, there's a swave of ocean over here. So I'm there and I want to... <laughs> <laughs> There's not an exact science, I know, but that's where I'm heading, people. That's that's what I'm hoping to do, anyway. So I've got to get myself on north. So there's north, right there. So if I'm going, there you go, then I'm going east if I head towards that giant. Well, it looks like a giant shoe, doesn't it, floating in the horizon. Right, well, I'm heading that way, then, and hopefully I'm going to get there. Now, something what I'd say, though, people, is you see my health bar down in the bottom corner over there where the heart is. Look how fast it goes down when I'm flying on my bird creature. You need a heck of a lot of oxygen inside a survival mode when you're flying. You see how my creature keeps doing this dive bombing of the scenery. Every now and again, it hits the scenery so hard, it launches me off of it. Oh, look at miles. I've broken my legs a couple of times, so I'm lucky I've got an extra shield module that I found in some tech. Or else this bird could freaking kill me with ease. So yeah, be a little bit careful, people, because right now we're like glass, you know? We haven't got hardly any, any protection against long falls or anything. And of course, if you jump off this bird, it's a, it's a long fall. Okay, right. Okay, we've got another little puddle here. Honestly, don't think that's any deeper than the last one we was at. There's a structure there, but it's it's not really a decent structure, so I'll just carry on. Anyway, I'll let you know if I manage to get to the seaside. Oh, chums, I've come across a trading post. Well, trading posts are great because they've got a galactic trade terminal interface on them. So this is kind of like our version of maybe a little mini town or something, isn't it? So you know what? I might just plonk myself here for a second. Lovely. And you know what? I'm going to put my little save point here for a moment underneath this cover. And this is a lovely little s spot for me to just take reflection on what's gone on so far. So there you go. Made a little save. My bird has got stuck in the railings. Okay. He's feeling quite upbeat about his predicament though, which is good. Right, let's head on over here then. Let's see what we've got. Oh, I've got hardly any money. <laughs> Can't buy much. But can I sell anything? You want my living slime? You can have it. I mean, I could spin that into nanites, though, couldn't I? I can sell the mordite, I suppose. But then again, I could I could turn that into something as well. Salvage data, I could turn that into nanites, too. And I need nanites. So I don't think I've got anything that I really want to... What the... Where did I get that? And how? Why? I have no idea why I've got that, people. It sells 3,200. I don't... Okay. I've got some meat on me, which is great. No, I, I don't think I've got anything worth selling. I honestly don't. No, I'm going to keep it all. Thank you. I mean, I would sell that treasure, but to be honest, we need the treasures for the event, don't we? So anyway, oi, come back here, you. Yeah, don't you go anywhere. Why can I not... I can't ride it there. I'm stuck in the railings, I suppose. Right, well, we're going to continue going east then, people. I still can't see any swathes of ocean. Hold on. Is that a colossal archive? I think it freaking is. I guess. Okay, right. We're heading towards the colossal archive then, people. Because from there, I can get another map. Ah! I left my save point up there. I got too excited. Let me go get my save point and we we'll go to the colossal archive. Okay, chums, I've got my save point and now I'm heading towards the colossal archive. I guess. I'll dive bomb the ground. Wow, throw me up into the air. Why not? Okay, here we go. We've arrived, Kated. Sweet! I'm now at a Colossal Archive. Right. Well, I'm definitely going to be putting... Well, I, to be honest, I'd like to beacon this because I want to come back here at some point. So I need some sodium nitrate and some metal plating. Okay, well, I wonder if I can just buy some sodium nitrate from this little guy on the wall. Um, No, but now that I'm in a actual, like, 
safe structure. You know, this is almost like being at a base or whatever. Because I can sort of say now say, right, well, I'm no longer on a quest. I can put this back to normal. Get back to normal mode. Hit that up. Oh, no. We're under attack by pirates. Ah, oh, some biscuits. Right, okay, this might not go good. Well, I was lucky that I swapped out. Where'd my save point go? Um. Oh, okay, I must have picked it up. Right, well, we'll save it. You know, because there's nothing I can do against those pirates. But they shouldn't be able to get me in here anyway. But, you know, I got that treasure earlier. Let's go see if we can upgrade it, shall we? There we go. Sweet. Here we go. Uh, oh. Damn it! I can't upgrade it. I've got it on my person, haven't I? Yeah, there we are. But yeah, now that I'm here and now that I've done my save, that's all great. That's all groovy, baby. That's all groovy. Okay. Now, to get rid of those pirates, I can just do a reload now. Because I'm in this safe structure. It's not like I'm on a mission. I've declared that, you know, this. I'm no longer doing the mission at the moment. I'm having a breather from the mission. I can exit out and come back in again. So we go. Just do a reload. Okay, now I've reloaded back in. There's my save point. I've got my refiner here as well. Let's stick that down. So if I interact with this, stick that in there. Have I got any sodium on me? I've got 101. Let's put that in there then. Let's spin that up. Because I, I want to beacon this place. I want to be able to come back here whenever I freaking like. So I need two metal platings as well. So let's make two metal platings. Lovely. I guess. I still haven't found epoxy ocean. I bet you when I'm not looking for an, ox an ocean or a deep lake, I bet I find one straight away. Yeah, that's the only thing I haven't managed to do yet. That's the easiest part of this mission. Well, actually, I haven't managed to find any um, venom yet, have I? Okay, let's pick that back up then. Make it a little save. Oh, there goes my freaking door again. It's lucky I have got this save, isn't it? I need to get somewhere safe before I can go and answer the bloody door. Right, see you in a bit. Okay, people, well, Ivy is actually off work today. He's put a load of stuff on Facebook Marketplace, so that's why the doorbell keeps going. Freaking mental. All right. Oh, wow, this looks beautiful, this planet in storms, doesn't it? Really does. Heck yeah. I forgot what I was bloody doing now. Oh, yeah, I wanted to put down a beacon, didn't I? Okay, right. All my beacons I'm doing as red, okay? So I've got a red one at the um, portal, and I've got another one here. Okay, all mine are going to be red, so anything of interest... Is going to be red for my team. As I'd imagine, you know, Rice, you could always use yellow, since um, he's going for yellow. And Cynical could always use orange. I'm going for red. Okay, now the reason why I wanted this place bookmarked is because of this machine right here. If you hit that up, it's going to print you a map. Lovely, lovely. Yes, please. Print map. And that's going to give me another location of another relic site, whenever I want it. Heck yeah! Lovely! Brilliant! Cool. I really wish I could put a teleporter here so I could get here nice and easy. Rather than having to fly my pigeon all the way back here every time I want to come. But, you know, that that's it is what it is. Okay, right. Let's uh, just jump off of here then. Zoom! Oh no! I went and just broke my legs. There's another machine on the wall down here. I don't know whether I can trade my goods in here. But this is also a good way of making your treasure worth more as well, people. So, if you can see my red marker, my faction, yeah. <laughs> the only trouble is everyone's going to see that freaking thing. They're going to, oh, look, Captain Steve's found something interesting. We're going to go use that. And it, pretty much, it's just put a marker for death there now, hasn't it? Because now pretty much every other faction knows there's a good chance I'm going to be here. It's a double-edged freaking sword, Okay. All right, so here we go. Let's call in my budge. Oh, I'm back on quest. I'm going back on quest, so I need to go back into difficulty. And I need to go back into survival. And I didn't actually change my PvP status, did I? Well, that could have been a bit dodgy, couldn't it? Where is it? I always lose where it blinking is. It's still on anyone. So here we go. Let's, um, let's take to the skies again. And we're going to be continuing going east because we need to find ourselves a lovely place, don't we? Okay, right. So there's north. So I want to carry on going that way, over towards that big rock on the hill. Come on, my budgie. Fly, my pretty fly. 
I guess. So I've got a lovely cartography map that I can use to go to another relic site when I'm good and ready. But I still want to get a load of nanites for scanning every single creature on this planet. Look, there's a little lake here, but that does not look deep at all. Ah! Well, we're in there anyway now, because my budgie freaking nosedived it. Let's have a look, see. Let's see if there's any creatures in here that I haven't got already. Might as well scan a few bits and bobs while I'm in here, mightn't I? Yeah. And I've spotted something there. Oh, that, that's, that's crystallized sulfide. If I could find an underwater relic here, that would have been worth picking up, but there's not any. Because, yeah, you can spin those into nanites, you know, the Hadal cores or whatever they are. All right, okay. We still haven't come across any free star bulls on here. You know, like the... Look, there's no free stars, is there? Now, the free star items on this planet are extremely rare. I just saw a, a grave over there, but... Yeah, there's no free star things. If there is a free star thing, it's going to be the sack venom. Now, that's another part of the quest, is getting sack venom. Now, the only thing is, I have seen... Naughty Naughty Daniel Hipley has gone and built a sack venom farm. No, the actual mission says quite clearly that you're only to get yourself wild sack venom, Mr. Hipley. Bad Hipley. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, don't use farms. Do not grow sack venom in your own farm. That's just, that's cheating. You've got to find the sack venom out on the planet. And it's as rare as rocking horse turd. That's the whole reason I've selected it. It's to get people running around in freaking PvP, having to recharge their life support all the freaking time, running out of oxygen, and um, going up against it. Hold on, look. We've got ourselves a lake over here, people. And it's got a giant diving board above it. Look at that. And it's freaking beautiful, doesn't it? Okay, we've got, we've got a bit more of a lake going on here now, peeps. Let's, uh, let's see if we get lucky. And let's see how deep it is, shall we? Okay, let's have a look where we are on the map so far. How? Look, I've, I haven't even freaking moved! Okay, alright, fine. Um, let's go for a little dip in here. Let's see if it's any deeper than the last puddle I was in. No, no, I'm not going to find any new creatures in here. I don't think. I think the only creatures I'm going to find in it. No, I'm not going to find anything. This is miserable! Miserable, I tell thee! Well, is that crystallized sulfide? It is, isn't it? Yeah. Great. No new creatures in here. Oh, there's a two-star there. Submerged relic. Let's go get that. Might as well. Because that, people, is going to spin into nanites. It's a Hadal core, so might as well have that. Is there any others while I'm in here? What are you? Crystallized sulfide. Ah, there's another creature. Oh, luck be had it. Okay, right. I think we've only got one underwater creature left. And that is going to be the giant underwater creature. And you're only going to find that in the deepest of oceans. You're not going to find it in a piddly little puddle like this. Um, it has to be a certain amount of fathoms deep. Now, sometimes you can use your terrain manipulator to trick the game into thinking you are a lot deeper in the ocean than you actually really are. Oh, no. I'm drowning. Oh, Oh, for fudge sake, get out of the menu. Just let me get out of here. Yeah, you drown a lot quicker when you're in survival mode, people. And of course, there's no blinking oxygen thingies in a, an ocean this shallow. When they say you can drown in an inch of water, they're not blinking joking when it comes to No Man's Sky, I tell you. Heck yeah. What the fudge is that? Is that another plaque? Have I just found another plaque by sheer freaking fluke and chance? Well, I'm not going to let that go. I'm going to go and hit that up as well and get another relic site on my radar for later so I can hit up three different treasures to bring back to my base all on my own, people. So this is going good, isn't it? Hold on, this looks a lot deeper over here, unless I'm mistaken. And look, we've actually got a reflection of the actual coastline. I thought they had stripped that out. Maybe I just don't see it because I'm usually swimming around in the daytime. Hold on, look, this is a lot deeper here because we've got a cave. Do I dare swim through the cave? I might have to do it. I might have to chance it, people, in a bit. The only thing is, I'm fairly sure that's going to be a dead end and I'm going to end up dead if I try. 
any of the bigger creatures here because this is slightly deeper and because there's a cave complex underneath me the game engine might think I'm actually in deeper ocean than I am there's another um, Hadel core there that I could have had there's another one over there there's a few in here I'm only really interested in finding that last freaking creature to be honest though right now I might have lost that oxygen again fudging heck that's dangerous using your scanner inside of the oceans it's not even an ocean people I'm not used to swimming in survival mode you can tell can't you I nearly freaking died like three times now look at that my hazard protection is like battered okay all right well let's hit up this plaque then and we get another ancient ruin locked in because as I'm going towards the ancient ruin hopefully I might come across some more ocean let's do that hello there plackety plaque Lovely. Jubbly. Okay, here we go. Knowledge of the past again. Give me another relic site. Well, there's another bit of ocean over there, but it's it's I it's a it's a little bit unfair to call it ocean, to be honest. Hold on, there's a trader that's just landed as well. Oh he's just took off. Oh you get No oh, look, we've got some um, frigates flying past. Lovely. Now, you can take on Sentinels if you really wanted to, to get some more tech for your multi-tool. But I'm not going to do that right now. That's, that, I, might, I might have to put that as a future quest, you know? Like, take out ten Sentinels or something. Because that's a very good way of getting yourselves slightly more OP and ready for combat. Right, so I think this is east. Because, yeah, south is that way. Yeah, yeah, this is east still. All right, well, we're flying this way. I can just leave that marker for the relic on my map anyway. I'm going to carry on going east because it looks like it's trying to take me the opposite direction. Is this slightly deeper? It might be, mightn't it? Yeah, let's just jump in here. Come on. Last creatures, where are you? Oh, come on. Please. All right, let's go get this quickly. Kelp sack. I mean, you can see how hard this is just to find the last poxy remaining creature. I mean, I'm heading out towards where all the bigger lakes are now, heading towards the eastern side of the planet. But even still, I'm not having much luck with finding this last creature. And I don't think I'm going to. Inside of these little mini ponds, because that's all they are. They're like lakes at best, aren't they? Hmm. Yeah, a bit of a jolly. Still not seeing any red dots for creatures I haven't got. Oh, my oxygen's getting low yet again. Ah, there's 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 an oxygen plant right here. Can I make it in time? I've just taken a hit. A few. Come on. This is actually really difficult. I didn't think finding all the actual fauna on this planet would be as difficult as this, people. I honestly didn't. Okay, this is actually proven. Step one of the quest is actually proving more difficult than I thought it would. Which, which isn't a bad thing. This is almost like an expedition when we're not doing an expedition, isn't it? This whole sort of um, questy type stuff. I'm actually enjoying it, though, you know. And of course, we haven't found any sack venom yet, which is just as well. Because come to think of it, people, what I haven't done is got myself prepared for that just yet. So here we go. Let's go get ourselves prepared. Yeah, interact. Just put a bit of carbon in there. And then what I want is to get this copper, stick that in there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna only gonna do half of it, 156 of it. There we go. And this is for the the um, hazmat gauntlet. So I've got some sodium nitrate now. So I only need 50 to get that spun up. So I might as well get that ready. Heck yeah. Inventory is getting quite low. It might be that we have to do a future quest to find drop pods or something. You know. There's so many different quests that we could come up with. If you've got any good quest ideas, stick them on my Discord, and then I float them past Cynical and um, Ricey for the next set of events to do. Anyway, why that's spinning up, is there any other three-star 
droplets on the map right now. No, there's not. Uh, my starship's all the way over there, one hour away. So, north. I still want to be going that direction then. Towards that unknown building. Okay. How's this going? There we go. We've got enough. That'll do me. Use my stuff sparingly. What is that unknown building then? Where has it gone? There. Well, it's only over on the bank. I might as well swim it. And while we're swimming there, we'll see if we can spot this last remaining creature. Not that it's that deep. Oh my god, my um, life support is extremely low. Yeah, these bars in survival mode, you really have to look after them, don't you? Okay, right. See, this is nice and deep. I, I would kind of think that there's a chance. A chance. It's not, it's not like a massive chance. But there is a slim chance that the last creature could spawn in something this deep. But, um, yeah, it's, it's not a great chance. Well, where's that building gone? Oh, great. I've lost sight of it. There it is. I wonder what it is. I wonder if it's a drop pod, now that I just mentioned drop pods. Might be, mightn't it? Okay, well, we've got another Hadel core down here, which is good for nanites, just in case another trader does sort of stop by again. We'll have that. I guess. Oh, yeah. Okay, right. Take that, you, oxygen plant. Boom. You're gone. Oh, there's a second one. Zap, you're gone too. What is this unknown building? Oh, it's a trade terminal. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to hit this up to get some free navigational data. And it acts as a save. Lovely. Navigational data should appear just up here. Any second now. Go on. You know you want to? There you go. Boom. Navigational data. That's always handy. Lovely. What can I buy here? Is there anything worth buying? Star silk, unstable plasma. There's not really much to worth buying there, people. Apart from maybe that, but I can't actually afford it anyway. At least then I can call my ship in once I've recharged it as a portable sort of campsite, which would be quite handy and dandy, to be honest. But, you know. Well, right now, I'm okay with my little portable save point. I'm using that. But if there's a storm, it is nice to just jump in your ship and shelter from the storm. Yeah, I mean, I won't be able to fly in it. It's just a case of taking shelter in it, you know? Okay, right. So that's... Okay, so if I'm heading north, that's that way. That means east is this way. Okay. Hold on. What have we found here? Ah, we found Albion Pearls. That's not what we're after, though. We're after free star items. And we're after the, um, the Sack of Venom. Hmm, maybe that could be a future mission, though, is Albion Pearls, because they're still rare as, aren't they? But yeah, I'm not seeing any um, Sack Venom out here, people. And even Sack, sack Venom is actually really hard to spot when you're on your bird creature. And your bird creature flies that fast. Now, you know, you might want to just do some exploration like this on foot. But yeah, I've got one treasure so far. I can go and get two more treasures. But you know what, I'm, I'm quite eager to try and find this last poxy creature on this planet. So you know what, bear with me, I'll, I'll let you know if I come across anything interesting. Okay, well this is interesting, I've come across another massive swathe of lakeage. Yes, maybe we're getting close to the close line now, people. I mean, look, it goes all the way, all the way over there. Let's just pop into camera mode and just have a look at how big this lake actually is. I mean, the trouble is, you can see that the tide has gone well out. You know, it's, there's a lot of recession here when it comes to water depth. But it does look like I'm getting closer, perhaps, to the oceany side. Oh, look! I think we've made it! I think we've made it to the ocean, people! Heck yes! Okay, right. Well, let's, uh, let's get into this then, shall we? Let's go swim out into the oceans. Let's see if we can find this last poxy fish, shall we, people? The only trouble is, is... In survival mode, your chances of drowning goes through the frickin' roof. 
especially if you've got to swim down deep to find your last fish. Hello, fishes. Okay, right. Oh, we go get, we go get these. We go this way. Come on. The last fish has to be out here somewhere. Come on. You know, shall I just reconvene when I find it? Or if I die, I'll let you know that I drowned, you know? Okay, I think that's a plan. Oh, would you look at that? Another trader has just landed right by me, people. So let's, uh, let's head on over quickly and let's see if we can do anything with said trader. Now, if I stand on his ship, hopefully he's not going to go anywhere. All right. Okay. So there we go. I'm on his ship right now. Now, what I need to do, though, is put down this. Oh, don't take off, mate. All right. Let's go spin up the Hadal cores that I've got. I should have done this earlier, shouldn't I? I've got two of them. Quickly, quickly, get 100 nanites. Lovely. Pick that up. Turn around. Hello, mate. I've got 100 nanites to spend. Plus probably a little bit more on me. Let's see what we've got. I've got 325. Do you have another shield module? I mean, you've got some hazard protection modules, which might be good. 361. I'm not quite there, am I? Not. And I don't think uploading my discoveries... Oh, didn't get me close enough. You know what? I'll come back when I've got more cashola. Plus, I also want to buy some more maps and stuff anyway. So, yeah. you got to you got to spend wisely. you got to spend wisely, people. Anyway, I'm going to swim out to the oceans and see if I can find this last creature. Tell you what, people, you know, Cynical has found an awesome Light No Fire type looking planet. I mean, this looks like the trailer at the start of Light No Fire, doesn't it? Swimming in this ocean. Okay, right, give me that kelp plant before I freaking die! Ow! There we go. Oh, great, a storm and being underwater at the same time. This is not going to be pretty, is it? Okay. Creatures just freaking spawn in, you daft freaking creature! Okay. You know, when you're not looking for these things, you kind of discover all fauna without even trying. You know what I mean? It's when you're trying to do something. It's like I couldn't find relic sites for love nor money the other day. I found three in today's episode just trying to find these poxy underwater creatures. So there is that. Okay. Well, I thought this ocean was going to get deeper. It hasn't. It's got shallower. Oh, great. Now there's, there's, there is a big storm out here. Ah! And now I've lost my life support. Oh, my days. Yeah. Managing these bars in survival mode is a lot freaking harder, isn't it, people? Has to be said. And this whole going out and searching... What the fudge is that? Alluring specimen. No, thank you. You keep your alluring specimen. Okay, well that's back where I just came from. There is another Hadal core down here. See, that's the nice thing about looking for these creatures, is you are going to find Hadal cores, which do spin into nanites. And I would suggest trying to grab as many as you possibly can when it comes to those Hadal cores. Have I swum past the dang thing? No, oh, I lost sight of it. There it is, over there. Because if you can get these Hadal cores, of course they do turn into nanites. And then nanites you can spend with the trader. And you can see here, this one is actually underneath the ground. Oh great. I need to get out of the ocean quickly before I drown again. Holy mackerel. I'm just going to get the Hadal cores I can see, not the ones I have to dig for. Oh my god! How? How did that happen? I'm, I nearly died. Oh my days, people. Should I just stay still? I think I should, till I get my shield back. I don't want to take critical damage. I'm just going to stay here. Ooh-wee! Come on, shields. Replenish. I'm not going to do anything. You know, if, if one of Cynical's crew flies by right now, I am... I am pickings, you know? I'm like a... I'm like a freaking fish in a barrel. Literally. Okay. Cool. Yeah, and I have got my markers on. 
so you know people can see that I'm just swimming around like in the middle of an ocean right now yeah not great not a not a good position to put yourself in come on fish last fish where are you fish come on I tell you what when I see these little red dots appear for this last freaking fish I am gonna be elated hold on what's that over there I saw movement I saw movement okay let's pick this up come on come on fisherman fish fish okay there's another hadal core over here let's see if it's above topsoil shall we I think it is I think we should be able to get that one yep we'll have that yeah I have that thank you very much right kelp sacks kelp sacks where are they oh it looks like when you pick up one of those hadal cores you actually get your oxygen back anyway there's a whole load of oxygen here which is good let's go pick that up okay the joys of fishing i'm not really an avid angular in life to be honest i mean i do like going crave cray fishing because you can eat them it kind of feels like you know it's worth doing when you can eat the things you catch it's like sea fishing i wouldn't mind doing sea fishing and actually catching my lunch you know what i mean but just sitting there to catch a fish and then plonk it back in again what's the point okay right ah ha, ha. Okay, right. Come on, fish. I've had enough of this now. All right, people. Well, I'll, I'll let you know if and when I see some red dots appear. And you can see how deep the ocean is when I find it. But I, I'm going to stop recording for a bit. Because, I one, I need to concentrate. Because you've got to manage these bars. It's, it's, it's not easy. Well, you know what, chums? I've been at this for some time. And I have not found this last remaining sea creature. Um, and I'm getting really low on oxygen now. Really low on oxygen. It's um, quite scary how low on oxygen I'm, I'm getting, to be honest. Swimming in the ocean. Your, your hazard protection goes down so quick. And your life support goes down so freaking quick. So I'm just out here on this massive island at the moment. In the middle of the ocean that I've just come across. I'm just grabbing a few bits from up here. But what I'm tempted to do is put down a little save point on here. I'm grabbing some more oxygen as we go. You can grab oxygen from these. But the hitbox is like massive. So it's... And it only goes one way, sadly. You got It's a fine art to nick that oxygen out of there without getting battered. Okay. There's more oxygen there. We'd have that. So at the moment, I'm just harvesting oxygen so I can swim a little bit more. But you know what? And what I'm thinking of doing is making a save point on this... Oh, fudging heck. Go and get out of it, Sentinel. It wasn't me. I did nothing. Okay. I'm thinking about putting a little save point on here. And um, I might have to reconvene later, live, looking for the last fish. We could do that on my live stream. The only thing is, is, people know that I'm live and they know roughly where I am. They might come and try and kill me. So anyway, let's uh, let's put down a save point. There we go. Let's put that down there. Chicka boom. And especially if I'm in the oceans and I'm struggling with my oxygen and my bars, I could be a prime target, couldn't I? But anyway, people, I'm going to continue searching this ocean tonight, live, for the last fish. Yeah. That's that's a thing. Now you might see this episode the day after. It depends how long this takes to render people inside the viewer. So Yeah, so quest one so far. I've managed to get some treasure. I've managed to get my hazmat gauntlets installed. I haven't managed to find any of the sack venom, and I haven't managed to find every single creature on this planet. I'm just one short right now. What about um is there any creatures I can upload? Add to wonders? No. No. I think all of these have been discoveredicated, haven't they? Yeah, they've all been discoveredicated. I wish people would have named them something awesome. I did name quite a few creatures something awesome. But look, all their names have reverted back. All the stuff that I named and gave cool names to, they've lost their names. Honestly, don't. I honestly. Hold on, you can't see what I'm seeing here. So, yeah. All of these that are, look, I've na I named all these awesome stuff, and now they're just all back to their default names. I honestly, 
honestly lose the will to actually hello games has got a lot of polish and a lot of fixing to do with this sort of stuff haven't they at least at least the planet's kept its name in this particular instance and the system but all my discoveries that i made all those lovely little uploads that i've done out the window they're gone yeah now another thing that we're going to hit i think in a moment people is once we hit 21 bases which i think we've hit now the cascading effect starts to happen where bases don't always fully render in and only a certain amount of bases are going to show up so there is that too anyway i'll put down a little save point here where's it gone there it is i'll do another save i'm just a little bit nervous that something hasn't saved there you go and uh yeah that's that's me for now and i reconvene with my search for the last fish and for sack venom in the next Riverton episode, people. Yeah, and I'll be doing that live. Live. Live inside of light, no sky. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.